my dear brothers and sisters let us read this word of god first timothy chapter 2 verse 8 first timothy chapter 2 verse 8 I desire then that in every place the men should pray lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The Bible says through the word of God Saint Paul in his letter to Timothy he says in every place the men should pray in every house the men should take initiative to st- pray If there is no family prayer in every house in any house the men will be answerable in front of God more than anyone else so the the head of the family or the men should be answerable in front of God for more than anyone else if there is no family prayer together in your family it is the duty of the men to make sure that there is a prayer family prayer in every house Not only that the men should be a very good role model in front of their wife and children in prayer they should be kneeling down and lifting up the hands and re- remember lifting up holy hands your hands should be holy there should not be any sin in your hands without anger or argument i have seen many families when they come together for prayer they come together First of all there is confusion about the timing. Husband says one timing which wife doesn't like and the wife tells one timing and the husband doesn't want to join and children are not ready for that timing so there is no common timing for themselves. When there is no unity in your family especially with regard to prayer there will not be unity at all. At least for the prayer there should be unity then there will be unity in everything. and some families they come together for prayer and they start the prayer but they end up in dispute they won't be able to complete the whole prayer because one must be sleeping and the other one getting angry and the one one must be kneel, sitting down the other one is kneeling down and therefore one is angry with the was the one who is kneeling down is ag- angry with the one who is sitting down so confusions and anger irritation disturbance at the end end up in arguments and then without even completing the prayer one will get up and boycott the prayer and go and sleep so this is also common tendency in many families the lord says the men should make sure that there is unity there is prayer and the prayer should be with the holy hands without anger or argument and the prayer should be lifted up towards heaven without anger without argument without confusion without disunity in a holy with a holy hand lifted up some husbands some men they are not able to lift their ha- holy hands because the hand is desecrated with the same hand they have done injustice they have hurt their wife they hurt their children and they have done many things wrong and with this attitude if we pray the prayers are not powerful therefore the lord is telling us through this word of god today i desire then that in every place the men should pray lifting up holy hands holy hands without anger and without argument let there be proper family prayers with holiness and without any anger or argument or confusion in unity but in unity in joy let's all pray together for this intention